Hope you guys are having a fantastic day tonight. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this super cool seamless transition. If you guys didn't record a specific shot for this, you can't do it in post with effects. So I'm going to be showing both methods of this transition. One, when I kept it in mind while I was filming. And two, with some effects. You can perform this transition in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Today I'm going to be showcasing it in Premiere. So let's hop straight into it. So right here is an example of this mass transition being used. You can see that these two clips transition seamlessly with this pole that goes across the screen. Right now I'm going to showcase how I actually created this effect. I have the first clip with the pole kind of going across the screen and then just the second clip of my subject and you can see turning this off that I kind of overlaid these two clips uh, so that way when pull kind of you know moves out of the way you're going to be revealing what is underneath so let's get started with the mask we're gonna go ahead and click on our top clip right here and go to the effect controls we're gonna go to the opacity and we're gonna grab this free draw tool we're gonna go to the first frame where you can actually see the transition start we're gonna go ahead and mask out the pull and everything else behind it, connect it right here. And as you can see, our bottom clip is now starting to bleed through. We're gonna go ahead to the effects controls and keyframe the mask path. Going back one frame, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the mask so that it's completely out of the scene like this now going one frame forward you can see that the mask is starting to animate going another frame forward you can see that we need to adjust the mask to keep going so i'm just going to drag the mask to follow this pull like this while also revealing the underneath that's pretty much the whole process i'm just going to continue frame forwarding and then adjusting the mask to follow the pull i've gone ahead and masked out the entirety of the scene as you can see the mask just follows the pull as it goes across the screen and as you can see i'm on the last frame of the pull being in the frame so if i go ahead and move one forward I'm just going to go ahead and drag the mask completely off of the screen. Now playing that back, you can see we have this super cool seamless transition between the two scenes. This is used in a lot of professional films, not just music videos. If you guys didn't go into your shoot preparing to do this specific transition, there are still ways you can implement this transition with effects. So right here, I've just got two clips from Can Can's music video. And as you can see, it's just a hard cut right now. We want to go ahead and implement that seamless transition into it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 3D Lean Effects Pack by Mission. If you guys are interested, there's a link to this in the description below. But yeah, basically what this has just a ton of different 3d asset and i think it would really fit this can can edit and go ahead and grab the bottle left transition and drag that on these are in 4k and my comp is 1080p so i'm gonna go ahead and scale it down to 50. in that back we have this bottle that kind of rolls across the screen I'm just gonna treat this like we treated that pole with the transition now actually go ahead and speed this up to 150 percent so the transition happens a little bit faster position it in the middle of the two clips I'm gonna make sure that my clips are overlapping so that the bottle is going to reveal the bottom clip i'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same process so on the first frame i'm gonna go ahead to the effect controls opacity and grab my free draw advisor and just mask out everything like so now you can see that our bottom clip is kind of revealing itself I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe the mask path again go back one frame and adjust the mask so that it's completely off the screen then i'm just going to go frame by frame adjusting the mask to follow the bottle throughout the clip again just frame forward and follow the bottle revealing the bottom clip like so i've gone ahead and completely masked that out and playing that back we've got this super cool seamless transition between these two clips you know, it just looks super clean and definitely fits the theme of the video uh you guys can really put any object or anything across the screen it could even be a line to seamlessly transition i'm really liking where this edit's going so i'm gonna go ahead and mess around with it a little bit more if you guys didn't know you could actually seamlessly link between after effects and premiere pro it's called adobe dynamic link and this is actually how i edit most of my music videos what you want to do to link this clip with a after effects composition is just go ahead and right click on it right here we've got this replace with after effects composition click on this it will automatically load into after effects now in after effects you can see that i have my top clip that i just linked and any changes that i make is going to show up in my premiere pro project which is super cool and super useful i just went ahead and rotoscoped out our subject like so so i've got two layers and go ahead back into the 3d lean effects pack by mission and grab some flying objects see we've got a ton of options to choose from right here i'm just gonna go ahead with the cup close right I'm going to drag that onto our composition. Again, I'm going to go ahead and scale it down because these are in 4K. Scale it down to 50%. I'm going to kind of sandwich this clip between our rotor brush layer and our background. So that way they are behind them. Playing that back, you can see that we've instantly added 3D assets into our music video. I think that they're kind of flying a little bit too fast for me. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. Go to the time and go to the time stretch. I'm going to go ahead and put it to a stretch factor of 200. That way it's going to be going in half speed. That thing looks pretty cool right here. Add some more depth to this scene to make it more realistic. I'm going to have something floating in front of him as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cup foreground left and drag that on top of all of our layers. Again, I'm going to go ahead and transform and scale it down. And playing that back, you can see that we now have these cups in the foreground and it looks super clean. If you guys have made your changes in After Effects, you're just going to go ahead and file, save this. And back in Premiere Pro after saving it, you see that it's instantly updated. And playing that back, we've got a super cool edit. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to purchase that 3D Lean Effects Pack, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video is actually requested by one of you in the comment section below if you guys have any other ideas let me know down, down below i do read all of the comments and i appreciate all of the recent support that join the discord i'll see you guys in the next video later